Parliament of World's Religions, a very unique and unusual conference that first started in 1893, where religious leaders and representatives from different faiths come together, get on the same page, and actually solve the world's problems. The things we were told would harm us are actually proving to do the opposite. Drugs like MDMA, mushrooms, marijuana, LSD, and ayahuasca are helping resolve serious mental issues. Join us as we explore for ourselves the healing powers of psychedelics and other mindful practices. Here at the conference, you have all kinds of religions. There's Islam, Hindu, Christianity, the big ones, and then also one that I've never heard of before. This year is of particular note because, for the first time ever, the spiritual practices of ayahuasca and their many stewards, indigenous people from the Amazon, ICers, and the San Odaime, have been invited to share their work with this plant on a global stage. Ayahuasca is actually two plants, a complex brew originating in the Amazon jungle. And its rapid rise in popularity is credited to how effective it is in helping people overcome serious mental issues like addiction, depression, PTSD, and trauma. For the indigenous people, it is a practice held for hundreds if not thousands of years, essential to their way of life. How do these plants work to help us evolve spiritually and to connect to our true nature? Ayahuasca is a plant to bring our sensibility e reativar no, novamente a no, o nosso espírito através da planta ayahuasca para que ela possa abrir a nossa mente e nós poder se conectar com o nosso próprio interior. Então a ayahuasca ela dá essa sensibilidade de poder explorar o nosso sentimento em tudo que se passa de errado na nossa vida, ela vai trazer a nossa sensibilidade para nós poder re, reativar novamente o nosso espírito. The drinking of ayahuasca in a ceremony is the core of their spiritual traditions. Here's a fascinating thing. All the other groups here can talk very openly about their religion and their spiritual paths and share with people how to participate. Ayahuasca, because of the laws in the U.S., is very interesting. We're here and we can talk about this spiritual path. However, the main component of it, which is the sacrament in this context, ayahuasca, is still illegal in most places. So I've got these amazing, beautiful people coming here saying, I'm very interested, where can I do this? I, I can't tell you anything. <laughs> and in most countries, ayahuasca ceremonies must be conducted in secrecy because of the prohibition of DMT, the active component in the brew. And those that facilitate or partake are constantly at risk of persecution. Colonization and the war on drugs has made it so that even the indigenous people can't partake in their own spiritual practices in most places, which is why this conference is so interesting. Pero pues a pesar de eso nosotros seguimos luchando en la pervivencia de los pueblos indígenas, pero con el tiempo. Esto es un proceso, un proceso lento. Nosotros caminamos así, vamos lentamente caminando para llegar a la meta, ¿sí? con ese sueño que los pueblos indígenas anhelamos, de cuidar la madre naturaleza y nuestras culturas como es el tema de la espiritualidad. Então hoje nós como líder espiritual que estamos defendendo a terra como parte de nossa vida nós temos que olhar mais profundamente sobre a vida do mundo espiritual que nós tomamos as nossas medicinas abrir a nossa mente para nós poder também lutar junto a vocês só queremos respeito pelas nossas tradições para estar junto nessa missão da Terra. Todos os líderes espirituais que hoje eduquem e orientem toda a humanidade, de que despertem na consciência esse novo momento da história, que ainda temos a oportunidade de salvar o mundo, se todos nós agir para a mesma direção. So 
So what does being at this conference actually accomplish? The biggest takeaway seems to be that we all have so much common ground. Each belief and religion and ideology seems to be all a tool in the toolkit helping us reconnect to our own divine nature. Yet all these acknowledged belief systems haven't been enough to steer humanity into a peaceful, sustainable existence. And with the current dire state of affairs, we need all hands on deck. There are entheogenic plants, cacti, and mushrooms that have been facilitating direct connection with the divine since ancient times. But the knowledge of these plants has been repressed by colonization. We believe it's divine timing for the interfaith community to be open and honest about the value of entheogenic plants for religious practices. Because until we recognize these practices as legitimate on a global scale, people and the world are actually missing out on profound spiritual and psychological healing exactly at a time when we need it the most.